Give me some questions. Mm -hmm. You were talking about um, everyone having a soul. I was recently coming into contact with people that said that because of an ancient um, deal that black women, Ishtar's um, descendant made, she called herself to be um, ruler of the earth plane. And because of that, black women don't have soul. Who says some old ignorant shit like that? Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, can you explain, like, who would be granted a soul? Is it just people with melanin? Is that your only question? I mean, where, I mean, where did the origins of that come from? Did that come from white folks? Uh -uh. Where did it come from? Some black people? Yes. That black women don't have souls? Right. Was it a man that said that shit? Yeah. You know what you didn't do? <laughs> y'all need to secretly go there one night, <laughs> see that nigga walk down the street, and y'all need to get y'all a silencer on a gun, and you need to shoot that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you need to start taking niggas out for being there. <laughs> the black woman is the archetype of the universe. There's nothing beyond the black woman. That's why you catch in hell. That's right. You bear the burden of all that. If ain't nobody got no soul, if it's anybody who got a soul, it is the black woman. You know what I'm saying? It is the black woman. So that's some crazy stuff there. You know. And Ishtar is Isis. Ishtar, Anana, Isis, Africa, all that's the same person. And that whole thing about Ishtar made the deal. Here it is again. The woman is thrown down as the doggone enemy of the whole human race. You see what I'm saying? And they don't even know because I know the Ishtar mythology because I study these things. I make it my point to study these ancient arcane scriptures. What they talking about, Queen, is that Eve talking about making a deal with the serpent. That's nothing but the Kundalini. That ain't nothing but the Kundalini that's raising what that's up. Talking about. Yeah. They and, said, and her breaking through the seven seals. That's right. That's what it's talking about. It's talking it is about a mythological tale of the rising of the Kundalini sexual power. And so they say, do not eat from the tree of knowledge. And they ate from the tree of knowledge and they saw their third eye open. And the serpent, the serpent. Kundalini energy. So it's a mythological tale explaining metaphysical phenomena. But you got all these niggas that's in these religious orders, and it's always back to that same old moralism thing, whereas the woman is impure. The woman is thou only impure. Everything is based on the dog on woman. See what I'm saying? Everything is based on the woman. But if these niggas want to act fool. Find your ass way down to Atlanta. I'll take care of all of you. Damn these crazy niggas. But you know something about Besides a black woman who she really is, she getting mad as hell at you. What do we, wait, wait a minute. We, we understand, but that's not include, that's not talking about the people in this room. You know what I'm saying? You try to tell a doggone Negro. I, see what I'm trying to say is I travel all over the country. The sisters that enter the consciousness, they got brothers that's offended and feel threatened. As well as you got brothers that's in the conscious, you got sisters. The same bug bit us, bit the sister too. You see what I'm saying? That's a, that's a part of the condition that we are in. But we cannot sit up and argue on who's oppressed over the other person. We are all oppressed people. And it makes no difference. This shit gonna happen regardless. See what I'm saying? So it ain't got nothing to do with the West Coast. Bottom line, like I say, I don't have no problem with no sister because I got something in my brain. And the sisters say, you ain't got no money in your goddamn pocket, at least have something in your damn head. That's, but that's, you know, that's kind of like, um, that's fair. The nigga ain't got nothing in his head, at least he need to have something in his damn pocket. <laughs> That's kind of smart to me. So my point here is if you want to trade it off, get something in your damn head. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm still the greatest nigga in the Western Hemisphere. You know what I'm saying? But I've been taking applications on the love stuff, and I ain't got no problem with the sisters. You see what I'm saying? And broke as hell. You see, so my point here is, it's like Amber Elijah Muhammad say, they were not made of material things, and ultimately, that can't hold them. They are looking for wisdom. You see what I'm saying? They're looking for doggone wisdom. That's why they're going after the doggone preachers. 
Because they think they got some knowledge, which they don't. But I'm still saying, they're still looking for that extraordinary type of aspect. And that's what the brothers got to come to. You see what I'm saying? On that particular level. You see. So this thing is, is hit or miss on this thing. But it ain't got nothing to do. If you look at the whole thing based on the male and female, we all crazy down here. You see what I'm saying? The brothers is just as fool as the doggone sisters. All of them crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all, all of them fool. So I'm saying, that, but if we keep going based on the behavior of black people, we ain't going to get nowhere. But it's going to happen anyway. This thing is beyond the physical aspect. This thing is going down, whether we like it or not. Give me some questions. 